Courage isn't about being fearless. It's about recognizing fear and moving anyway. In combat sports, that means stepping into a ring where someone is trying to hurt you. It's voluntarily facing challenges where mistakes can be severely damaging or even fatal. So with that in mind, what is courage, really? Well, researchers define courage in sport as the capacity to confront fear, risk, or potential injury in pursuit of mastery, performance, or personal growth. See, it's not blind bravery. It's a choice to act despite fear, uncertainty, and danger. And let's be clear, psychologists emphasize that courage is not the absence of fear. It's regulating fear so it doesn't paralyze you. And yes, neuroscience even backs this up. In brain imaging studies, people who acted courageously, like choosing to approach a fearful stimulus, well, they lit up their subgenual anterior cingulate cortex. And that's the area of the brain that helps regulate emotion under stress. Furthermore, athletes who score higher in sport courage, well, they tend to show stronger emotional regulation, clearer goal focus, and a greater tolerance for discomfort. See, when fear hits, our bodies, they react in the same way. Heart starts pounding, breath quickening, your adrenaline flooding your system. That doesn't go away. Even the most experienced fighters feel it. But what training changes is how strong that surge is, how fast you recover, and how you interpret it. So instead of reading it as panic, Trained fighters learn to read it as readiness, like the body switching on for performance. So courage in sport isn't about fearlessness. It's about acting in spite of fear, in spite of injury, and in spite of risk. It's layered. There's physical grit, emotional resilience, and mental strength all working together. But how do psychologists actually measure courage? Well, in our next episode, we'll look at the sport courage scale and we'll break down the five dimensions of courage, what they mean and how athletes train them. Because you know, courage isn't abstract, it's measurable, it's trainable, and in combat sports, it's everything.